Hi, we're here at the HPE booth. I'm Ronald van Loon, I'm director at the data analytics consultancy firm. I'm a vlogger, blogger and a webinar host. And I'm here with Torsten Milsman, he's from HPE and he's responsible for IoT sales worldwide. Maybe you Same can thing. give a short introduction as well? Yeah, I'm, I'm with HP, HPE since a bit more than 20 years. And I'm in IoT and IoT sales since yeah. almost three years now. So I've been part of the founding team here. Great. And three years in IoT means quite some experience already. Yeah, that's quite and you have quite some experience in the manufacturing area for the automotive. Yeah. Can you explain us the case, what you see in manufacturing, how they use data and what types of data they use? Yeah, I think that's um, been, been evolving over the last uh, couple of years. Mm -hmm. So um, most machines are already connected nowadays. Yeah? Not everything, but most of it. And um, the, the issues um, the car manufacturers have is, is about all the same because they have um, different um, tools, different machines, different robots um, in their plant. And they, they, they now get more and more data out of it. Yeah? That's, that's the one, one challenge. And the second is um, that this data is becoming different formats. So in the past, it was just a little bit here, a ping there. And now we are moving really into um, digital twins. We have um, video data coming into production, streaming data, high resolution stuff. Um, and that, that's something which has to be handled, right? And if you look to practice, what, how do they derive value out of this data? Yeah, I mean, um, the, the, the issue is to, to capture it yeah? mm -hmm. and, and, ha and have it on a, on a platform. Because there, there are two things they all struggle with, the regular ones. One is um, they need to increase the output of the plant um, and they want to reduce the the, the risk they, they have, yeah? mm -hmm. and that goes against each other. So the main, the main thing is when I, when I get data out of what we call um, vertical stacks, like one tool manufacturer giving me the information on um, predictive preventive maintenance of his specific stack, that's nice, yeah? that's where most of them are already, and that's what um, is, is helping them to a certain extent. But if those guys with whom we work with um, tells us that's not how I can achieve the next level of efficiency I want to achieve, um, then the question is how, how can they do it? Yeah. And that's uh, what we are implementing uh, right now in one of the very large uh, German plants to, come, to move away from this vertical thing into something we call horizontal integration mm -hmm. and really bring the data from all the different tools, all the different vendors into that horizontal platform so that the owner of the factory can do its own, bring in its own knowledge. And, and believe me, there is some knowledge around, I, I didn't think how to bring in a dashboard in a car. So mm -hmm. they all believe that's something special. And so it must be. Um, and, and bring all this data into one horizontal platform to decide when do I want to take my predictive maintenance? And so I'm, when I'm running a plan which is the size of my hometown, then I want to own it and I want to decide when I stop production because um, of having a maintenance case and not because someone telling me you might want to do it. Yeah. So that's the one thing which is really driving um, an, an, an immense amount of data um, and you need a very high performance compute stack very close to the factory, in the factory, like what we have in the background yeah. as an example. So it needs to be a ruggedized, massive compute at the edge needed. The second thing is that these new data streams like video need to be analyzed as close as possible um, at that machine, at that tool, because um, you don't have the time for latency. So if you would send that somewhere to the cloud, wait a couple seconds before you got the results back, done deal yeah what you want to understand and that's what we introduced in our own factory as well um, is immediately to understand if that's um, perfect product which you want to roll out and have that analytics right there so that's another layer in the production which where data is becoming the new fuel of that organization so data Definitely. is playing more and more a role and we will cope with it with more and more compute capabilities with storage capabilities 
and artificial intelligence kicking in from what we are already doing in our data center because that's where we have self-healing systems. Not there yet, but that's going to move also into production, I'm sure. Great. What's the key takeaway for companies that want to go, and especially um, manufacturers in the automotive industry, that want to go to the next level? Yeah, make, make your plan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> make a plan. Um, decide what, what the new opportunities are you're really after. So start small mm -hmm. and, and scale large and talk to us. <laughs> right. So we know how it works. Thanks. Dorsten, thanks Thank a you lot much. for all your insights. Thank you for watching here from the HPE booth. Thank you. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.